Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by EC Council. Module 2 Footprinting Section Footprinting through Websites. Footprinting through the website. We use web spiders, website archives, website watcher, and monitoring, etc. Web crawling or the spidering is the process of surfing the internet to get the required information about the target. The sites surfed can include the target's website, blogs, and social networks. Search engine web crawlers are Google Bot from the Google, Bing Bot from the Bing. They crawl the sites and index the web pages. So we are covering these crawlers in another session. You see the name, it's a Wayback Machine. You can search and you can go to the timeline and get the snapshot how it looked in the past. You can search a website and see how it got shaped over a period of time. It shows the snapshots captured over a period of time. This is a valuable tool for analyzing website's history. Archive.org provides APIs to build own tools. This is Archive.org's website and it has archived 306 billion web pages. You see some of the websites how it looked in the past. Say GeoCities, how it looked in 1997. And this is Amazon.com, how it looked in 2005. And you know how it looks today. And this is NY Times in 2013. And like this, you can explore some of the interesting sites, how it shaped itself over the time. And this Internet Archive provides uh, API tools, subscription service. If a website is not yet archived by the Wayback Machine, you can enter an URL and you can save the page so that it starts capturing the web page and you can refer it at any point of time in future. Amazon.com. Just we have captured some snapshots. That is how it looked in 2005 and how it looks today. Website Watcher detects the website updates and highlights all the changes. It monitors the web pages, password protected pages as well. This is the website of Website Watcher and explore this for more information. Alternative to Website Watcher. This is just a mirror of what we have seen just. Website monitoring is the measure of website availability. Website monitoring is often used by the businesses to ensure website uptime, performance and functionality as expected. We often hear the uptime and the availability in terms of the percentage. When someone says that the guarantee 99% uptime means it is 87 hours 36 minutes, it's approximately 4 days downtime in any year. If you want good uptime, you should go for more nines as year. Website monitoring gathers extensive data on website performance such as load times, server response times, page element performance that is often analyzed and used for further optimized website performance. Purpose of website monitoring is to check the performance, reliability under the peak loads, improve search engine rankings, improve SLA that is service level agreement, security monitor against virus and malwares, improve user experience, network admins, webmasters, help desk personnel, they may monitor the single page of a website or complete business process as per requirement. There are two types of website monitoring, that is synthetic monitoring which is active monitoring, passive monitoring is real-time monitoring. Notification of alerts is sent by email or instant messaging, cell phones, SMS, etc. Let us know about some of the website monitoring tools. Pingdom, this is by Solar Winds. This is Pingdom website. Pingdom is a great application for website performance and availability monitoring. You explore this trial, free trial. Next great tool is Site247. This is Site24 Cross 7 website. There is a free trial that one can sign up and uh, test it. You explore the features. 
and they have got different packages here. Explore this site for more information.